So where's Chiron? Uh, listen, Ogar, he, um, wants to keep fighting. Stupid bastard. That's it. No more kid gloves. He needs his ass kicked before he gets killed. They'll kill you. Or they won't. You can't help him dead. Good point. I still want him out. Yeah, there might be another way. Could leave on his own. The hell you mean? Look, I mean, I'll beat Skullface. Chiro wants him. If Skullface loses, Chiro can't lose. Some plan. Kill Skullface. Except you can't. No offense, Aiden. Got a better idea then? No. Find my old dressing room. I buried my armor and the weapon there. Do I need rusty armor and old weapons? Only if you want to beat Skullface. I won the tournament with that gear. Yeah, thanks, Ogar, but I need an upgrade. You need to listen, boy. You're a goddamn jumper, not a fighter. Tetsuo crafted this gear for me especially. Tell him it's old and rusty. Now find my room and report back. Look, no offense, Ogar, but... Okay, I'll think about it. Okay, where's that armor? Ogar, I'm in your room. Okay, tell me what you see. A few years ago, they were fighting to the death. Ooh. Ugh. Looks like he's a Skullface fan. Ah, the new guy has some nice armor himself. You sure that wouldn't do? No. Mine was... special. Believe me, that shit's aluminum foil compared to my gear. Wow, a tiger skin rug. Hmm, living large, Ogar. Uh, well, at least I know you're in the right place. I stashed the armor behind the rug. <laughs> Skull face never shows his face because it's covered in burn scars. Hey, you! What the hell are you doing here? I'm... I'm here for a friend. Looking for some armor. Armor? Touch my armor, and you die. Last warning, what the fuck you really want? Two minutes to search. Yeah, that's all I need. Give me one. <sighs> Made a mistake coming here. I wasn't looking for trouble. Just this armor. Don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Empty. How the fuck did that get there? Don't bullshit me. You took the armor. Don't know what you're talking about. Ain't touched that thing since I've been here. 
Thought it looked nice. A legend used to live here, you know. Ogar. Wait. You're looking for his armor? Thought he gambled away everything he had. Gambled? You didn't know? He was more than just a champion. Remember watching him fight. I wanted to be just like him. But that wasn't a bet he wouldn't take. That shit? It brought him down. Probably used it for a bet. You know where the armor could be? You think I'd be using that pile of scrap if I did? Man, if I'd even thought it was here. Clearly it wasn't. I guess I'd better go. I found your hiding spot. It's empty. I was sure that no one could find it there. <clears throat> Go be you on. Not so good with secrets. I was drunk when I told her. You won? Yeah. Last time I saw her, she worked as a craft master in Carnage Hall. Unless she gave up on that, too. Well, it won't hurt to check her out, will it? Might change your mind when you meet her. Starts late at night. Hey, you're Yuan, right? What's it to you? Well, I'm looking for a friend's fighting gear. He says he told you where he hid it. Don't know what you're yapping about. Are you crafting something or what? It was Ogar's armor. I yeah, remember him. Ogar? Don't tell me that idiot wants to fight again. Hasn't he lost enough? Oh, I know. He wants to lay it down on a bet. Don't step in Ogar's shit, kid. It don't wash off that easy. Look, uh, if you have it, I can pay. I don't. Sold it to Freddy Stammer a long time ago. Who? Freddy Stammer. As a fighter, he was always number two. Just like his shit personality. Till he finally said the wrong thing to the wrong person and they booted him. Where can I find this Stamma guy? He lives by the electrical substation in Old Villador. But good luck getting it from him. I'm sure I got something you'd like. I'm afraid of what happened. Hey, I may have found your armor. It's with some guy named Freddy. Freddy Stamma. Yeah, I remember him. He was an okay fighter. You have quite the reputation, you know. Fallen champion. As a gambling addict. Just get my gear, okay? Unless you want Skullface to dismember you in two seconds. Who's that? Go away. Looking for Freddy Stamma? Why? What do you want? Listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for some armor. I was told you had it. Armor? What the hell are you talking about? Ogar's armor? Ogar. You on the Craftmaster told me you bought it. Oh, Ogar. Ogar. Yes. Yes, I bought it. To keep it safe for him. But that was some time ago. Did Ogar send you? Yeah. He wanted to loan me his armor for the tournament. Interesting. Good old Ogar, yeah. Knew he'd want it back one day. He always had better stuff than us. That armor made him a greater champion than he already was. Wait here. I stored it in the basement. Let me get the key.
<laughs> Good times. Me and Olga. <laughs> Fights between us would sell out Carnage Hall. Rivals in the arena. Best friends outside of it. Oh. Really? No more fighters like us now. Not at all. Ah! Here's the key. Take it. I'd escort you down to the basement, but I can't even navigate the stairs with these eyes. Seems like Freddy was a Carnage Hall celebrity. Wow. He really was a great fighter. Why isn't he showing these off? Come to play, Abel? What? What the hell's going on? Damn Ogar. Would gamble away even his own? It should have been him, not you, Abel. I would have won this time. Who's Abel? Why do you keep calling me that? Quit playing. No one else could have kept up with me. And they trained you well. He knew they would. Tell me, Abel. How did that feel? He wore his poker chip. Fucking bet on his pride. What are you talking about? But Astrid got him. Hit him where it hurt the most. <coughs> I've always pitied you, boy. For having that shit as a father. <laughs> so... So Ogar bet his son's life? Gambling is a drug. And Ogar... <laughs> The fucking junkie. Oh, he lost big that day. <laughs> junkie. <laughs> Loser. I wonder you have so many fans. I know about Abel. Abel? Yeah, your son. The one whose life you gambled away. Was it worth it? <laughs> Does Chiro know? I didn't just lose a son that day. See? This was Abel. He was everything to me. It was just one more bet before I took my boys and left the arena behind. So? What happened? I was at the top. Best of the best. At prestige, fame, money. 
But all good things come to an end, right? Astrid told me to throw the last fight. Pass the title to some fresh meat she was cultivating. Lose the third round, she ordered. That meat was Skullface. We fought one, two rounds. The crowd was mine. I knew it. They chanted my name. Hearing that makes victory so sweet. I was a champion after all. Astrid didn't know that I'd placed a bet. Everything I had on myself to pay the pilgrim that could take us from the city. I waited till the third round and won. I knew she would go after me and my sons. We ran! But her dogs, they caught us. She f forced me to hand over one of my sons to become a Carnage Hall gladiator. Shiro or Abel? Shiro or Abel? If I didn't, she would kill them both. So you chose Abel? Shiro was no fighter, but Abel... I trained him. He was fast, strong. But Skullface was too much for him. He was after vengeance, blood. I sent my own son to his death. I should have protected him, but I lost him. All the line in my pockets. I gave up. I had nothing to live for. But Shiro kept me going, even though I didn't deserve it. I am a failure of a father, and he stayed anyway. Listen, you lost Abel, but it's not too late for Shiro. You can sit here and complain. Or we can still help him. You're right. It's my last chance to make things right. I'll find my way in. And his way out, I promise. Until I do, go. Stay safe. Keep an eye on him, please. Sure. I will. Go, Aiden. I have to figure out what to do next.